Today we'll be making a cylinder seal from materials you may have at home. You will need a thick crayon, a rolling pin, a toothpick, play-doh, a piece of paper, and a flat smooth surface. Instead of play-doh, you can use model magic, air dry clay, or homemade salt dough. Before we begin, let's put this art form in context. Cylinder seals are tiny stone artifacts that were first created in the 4th millennium BCE in tandem with the advent of writing. Traditionally the size of large beads, they were commonly made of stone, along with faience, shell, or bone. Both cuneiform script and pictorial imagery were carved into the surface. These designs functioned as signatures of individuals or offices that owned them. When rolled on wet clay, the carved designs created a unique band of low-relief impressions. They were used for administrative purposes and to seal boxes, jars, and even doors. Most had a hole running through the center, and they are thought to have been typically worn around the neck of the owner as functional jewelry. To begin, think about lines, shapes, and symbols that are meaningful to you. Using a crayon, make a simple sketch of the design you would like to carve into your cylinder seal. Whatever you carve will be printed backwards, so if you want to make letters or numbers, draw them backwards. Next, remove the wrapper from the crayon. The crayon will be your cylinder seal. If you like, break your crayon in half so you can practice carving on one half before working on the other. Using a toothpick, carefully carve your design into the crayon. A toothpick is pointy, so be careful that you don't poke yourself. The deeper you carve, the higher the impressions will be. Carving above the sketch paper will make cleanup easier. Once your design is finished, flatten the Play-Doh on a smooth, hard surface. Start on one side and slowly roll your seal sideways across the surface, leaving an impression. Congratulations! You have your very own cylinder seal. 